It all started with this piece of music. I was studying this just one evening. But studying turned to dreaming. Or the following evening, I kept um, thinking, OK, Newman, think outside of the box. What could this mean? What this meant for Sacramento Youth Symphony conductor Michael Newman was taking a cue symphony from that symphony that. by Gustav Mahler. The title of that piece, dubbed the Symphony of a Thousand, wasn't meant to be taken literally. But literally is how Newman started to think. Symphony of a Thousand kept resonating in my head. Then I thought, what could this do? Well, we could do a thousand players, up to a thousand players, all in one place, all at one time. It was a dream so big, it took two years to get here. Where the young, experienced musician I've been playing for about seven years. And the experienced adult who decided late in life to pursue music again. Because I didn't have my own bassoon and they were very expensive, I didn't play for 43 years. Prepare to meet on the stage of Sacramento's Memorial Auditorium. Karen Hung plays the bassoon, and her granddaughter, who is in the Youth Symphony, told her about the project. She said, Grandma, guess what we're going to do? And I'm inviting you. Karen will play with Carly Ching, a high school senior who's played viola since fifth grade. I was kind of like surprised at the idea that we would have 1,000 people playing in a huge symphony. But play they will, because in short order, the symphony had 1,000 musicians. And rather than that Gustav Mahler symphony, some national anthems, Newman has hand-picked pieces will you will recognize, played in three acts, year. from the beginner to the intermediate and the advanced. The project took some more out-of-the-box thinking just to conduct the symphony. For instance, the person sitting way in the back how are they even going to see the conductor up there? Well, we have a, a real-time uh, camera that will show uh, the footage just of the conductor so that somebody in the back can see this 12-foot screen with the conductor so that they can at least keep time. And the musicians arrived at the auditorium for their one and only rehearsal. Less an orchestra pit and more an orchestra floor. That's going to be some air moving, and it's going to be, like I said, and it, it's an experiment, and it's going to be unfolding minute by minute, and we'll see what happens. There's definitely going to be a huge sound, but I could also kind of imagine a bit of chaos. But it wasn't chaos. It was a community. A community of musicians like Carly and Karen, playing together with 998 others for the first time. The largest symphony California has ever heard. It was the itch to play again, to see if I can do it. I mean, I'm 68 years old, and I'm not getting younger. I, I'm not a 13-year-old that has my whole life ahead of me, but I still have this enjoyment, and I can give it to others. I mean, people are hearing about it and thinking, this has never been done in this region, to my knowledge. It involves not just professional musicians or even music students. But, so it is truly uh, a community-wide event. A community event played by a community of musicians. Dave Manoteri, The Common Ground.